EMF, electromagnetic field, might be the silent killer. So what is EMF and where can you find it? can be found in electric fields, it can be found in magnetic fields, power lines, even metal plumbing, and things we use every day like wireless communication, cell towers, cell phones, Wi-Fi. I'm Dr. Carrie Lam, this is Dr. Michael Lam. We're here to talk about EMF. So how does one person become sensitive to EMF? Well, to, to fully understand the impact of electromagnetic field in our body, we have to take a step back first and understand that if you look at the body from a natural perspective, each one of us are made out of uh, many, many trillions of cells. And each cell is essentially like a little magnet with polarities north, south, and positive and negative. Mm -hmm. And the EMF are basically electromagnetic waves that affect the cell membrane, it affects the polarity of these cells, the orientation, the vibration, and so it causes the membranes to leak, for example. And in those people with the cellular, uh, leakage, then uh, the body becomes damaged at the intracellular level and that ramify itself in terms of many symptoms. So from a, a electrical um, perspective, one has to understand that first and then everything will start to make sense. Mm -hmm. So some symptoms that people might feel if they're sensitive to EMF, like if they get too close to a cell phone, they get a headache, or they um, uh, they get fatigued, or have muscle achingness, they're a little foggy, they just don't feel right, especially when they're around electrical um, outlets or things like that. And yes, not only the electrical uh, field, for example, as we talk about cell uh, phones, uh, the heat itself also causes vibration in addition to the electromagnetic field. So you actually get a double whammy if you put your cell phone too close to your head. Mm. So what can you do if you can't put your cell phone to your head? Well, m most people don't feel the difference uh, because they, they are strong and healthy. Uh, when we're dealing with the population that are sensitive or weak, uh, such as people with adrenal fatigue, uh, the approach to EMF can be a very, very uh, dramatic in terms of making a big change in the body. Um, the, the, the EMF reduction uh, is, because it is so universal everywhere, the question is how do you get rid of it, or if you're not able to get rid of it, how do you reduce it, you see what I'm saying? Right, right. Some things that you can do is um, natural earthing. Well, earthing is a, uh, is a wonderful thing because earthing connects you to the earth which has polarity. And basically, you know, for example, the Earth receives many, many thousands of lightning strikes uh, every day. And that energy source goes to the Earth. And when we uh, align ourselves with the Earth, we are basically realigning our polarity. So, for example, uh, walking on grass, uh, wet surface, uh, uh, concrete, mm -hmm. uh, on the sand, a wet sand in particular mm -hmm. is, uh, is really good, but you have to walk either on a bare feet basis or walk with a leather sole shoes and not uh, what we call plastic uh, uh, sole shoes, for example. Mm -hmm. So then it kind of just resets your polarity in your body. Yeah, and then of course you can also wear functional uh, clothing like uh, clothing with silver, uh, you know, and, and of course you want to new increase your nutritional reserve. And that's very important because Ultimately, the body has the natural ability to overcome uh, such EMF and this a lot of it rests with the adrenal system and the cortisol uh, be rebalancing and this is automatic, you see. Unfortunately, if you have a cortisol issue such as those people with adrenal fatigue and you are unable to put out the proper amount of cortisol, then uh, these EMF or heat can uh, become problematic. Mm -hmm. So uh, fortify your adrenal glands properly, not stimulating, but nurturing. Make your body a strong, optimizing the adrenal function is very, very important in, in addition uh, to what we talked about. You know, I have people who are very, very severe. It's so much so that they cannot leave the house. Uh, they cannot uh, be exposed to a fluorescent light, for example. And they have to go to a uh, forest, uh, you know, to, to live they, when you're off the grid because they don't have any option. You know, when they're exposed to it, they get headache, they get dizzy, they get lightheadedness, they vomit, they have anxiety, feel jittery, on and on and on. And no one can figure out what it is. But the body is telling them loud and clear that it doesn't like the environment. You see what I'm saying? So these are things that are so subtle. But and most people don't pay attention to it. You know, they think it's just oh, uh, something psychological or something mental. 
But as you know, you know, uh, given the number of people that we have and with this type of sensitivity, it's really real, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you don't have the ability to move to a forest, you can do things in your own home. Let's say you sleep in your bedroom, well, ac electricity are actually running through these walls. So instead of having your head sleep against the wall, you sleep in the, your head in, towards the middle of the wall and you unplug everything. So don't have your phone in your bedroom, put it in another room, turn it off before you go to sleep. Yeah, even uh, lights, you know, the electrical switch, you know, even if the light is not on, the electrical current is going through. So you want to be about at least 10 feet away from the nearest electrical socket that's plugged in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's tons of things you can do about EMF, but we're here just to tell you that it is a sensitivity. If you're having these sensitivities, make sure you do what we recommend um, and um, you will feel better staying away from the electrical. Yeah, fortunately, yes. the EMF sensitivity is something that is a, a, a spectrum. You know, it does get better in most situations, provided that your body's defense mechanism is well supported to combat that, okay? And it's automatic. And fortify the adrenals is one of the key things that you can do. And it's easy, uh, not difficult to do if you understand and be on, on alert uh, of these issues. Mm -hmm. So have a great day.